Okay, grade 11, let's look at this question here, for also from the November 2015 paper, question number six. Once again, we're going to be using these formulas. And remember, I can't use the uh, fraction line, so we're going to use divide. I'm also going to split this into two videos. Part one is pretty straightforward. Part two is slightly harder. So I'll split these into two videos so you can choose which one to watch. So this is going to be part one. Okay. Sodium thiosulfate reacts with 200 cubic centimeters of hydrochloric acid solution of concentration 0,2 moles per cubic decimeter according to the following balanced equation. Sodium thiosulfate plus 2 hydrochloric acid goes to 2 sodium chloride plus sulfur solid plus sulfur dioxide plus water. This reaction is one we talk about in grade 12. Um, it's a reaction this sulfur precipitates out and it's one of the ways they use to test reaction rate. It's an example used in the CAPS document to test reaction rate. So I think they're showing you this sodium thiosulfate reaction now so that you can uh, be at least a little bit familiar with it before next year. So when you do this reaction in real life, you put a cross on a piece of paper and then you pour the hydrochloric acid into the sodium thiosulfate and you record the time it takes for the cross on the paper to disappear and it disappears because of the sulfur precipitating out. You can see this is a precipitate because the sulfur is coming out as a solid. Okay, to find the term concentration of a solution, look, I did it for you. Calculate the number of moles of hydrochloric acid added to the sodium thiosulfate. This is a straightforward um, concentration calculation. So C equals N over V or N equals CV. And we're going to use N equals CV. So the number of moles of HCl is going to be equal to the concentration. Why is this C capital? Let's make this a small c. The, con the number of moles of hydrochloric acid is going to be C, my concentration, which is 0, 0,2, multiplied by my volume. Now, can we use this volume? No, we may not. This is 0, 0,2 cubic decimeters. So this is going to be 0, 0,04 moles of HCl, provided my mental arithmetic is sound. Okay, there's my final answer. Now it says to you, calculate the volume of sulfur dioxide that will be formed if the reaction takes place at STP. How are we going to work this out? We are going to use the molar ratio. Okay, so the molar ratio, we know how many moles of HCl we've got. So we're taking what we know, which is the hydrochloric acid, and we're comparing it to what we want to know, which is the sulfur dioxide. Okay. Listen, you're just going to have to put up with this thing changing my cases here. It's very irritating, but it just does it for you. So the coefficient of the hydrochloric acid is 2, and the coefficient of the sulfur dioxide is 1. Okay, so we know we've got 0, 0,04 moles of hydrochloric acid, and if the ratio is 2 is to 1, this is going to be 0, 0,04 divided by 2 because that's how ratio works and we're going to get 0, 0,02. So now we know the number of moles of sulfur dioxide because we always want to know the number of moles. It's the most important thing. Okay, so now if we've got the moles, we can now use this formula here. Okay, and we're going to use this one, V equals NVM. We've just changed the subject of the formula. Okay, where are we going to find the, um, that VM? We are going to find that VM on our formula sheet, are we not? And if you have done this before, you'll know it's 22,4. So if we put this in our calculator, we are going to end up with 0,448 or 0,45 four cubic decimeters of SO2. Okay, and there's the first part of the question done. It's not hard. We should be fine.